So there seems to be a lot of confusion and varied opinions about Love Live Superstar. Many people say it's too early for Love Live Superstar or Yijigaku just got started. Seriously? Another orange haired leader girl? So let's have a discussion on this new group, on what we know about this project and what will come in the future. As well as discuss is it too early for the staff to be revealing this group and potentially getting in the way of Nijigasaki? So let's first start up with what is Love Life Superstar? Some of you might already know but many of you seem to still be a little confused on it so let's go over everything we should know. So this was just revealed not that long ago and the name of this project is now known as Love Life Superstar. Some people might have known it as like Hello Love Live or something like that but now they officially revealed that project name. This is kind of akin to the Love Life School Out project name or Love Life Sunshine. So this one is Love Life Superstar. This project was initially revealed on May 17th of 2020, so not that long ago. A teaser image was shown which was a bunch of girls lined up on a street. They had this trailer that, that showed all these girls, but there was nothing more than that at that time. We did have the one girl in the center which was kind of a, a focus which made us assume she is like the next Honoko. If you went back and looked at these images, our girls can be found in the initial image if you look hard enough. In this image, they showed the five girls that would be part of this project, but again, they were in the initial image here. These girls will be attending Yuigaoka Girls High School. This school was recently opened by Ren's mother, which I'll go over who she is soon. The school will only have first year students, and that is the case because the school was just reopened. So there won't be second or third years necessarily here. So it should just be first years. So we shouldn't be worrying about having a plot where this school is closing down because the school literally just opened up. So I'm assuming they will not do that again. So at this current moment, we only know about five girls in this project, which are these five girls. But it's potential that there might be more. Some people have been spe speculating. If you look back at this line above the initial image, there could be potential girls, probably ones with a little bit more focus on it. But not, that's not necessarily the case for all the ones that turn out to be that. So we'll just have to speculate on those for now, but it could be some girls that weren't completely separate from this image here. Since all these girls are first years, it is possible in the future that when the girls become second or third years, that there will be some new girls that will join, potentially some girls who will maybe transfer in later in the first years. So there is room for growth, and a lot of people was wondering, well we have to have nine because that's just the way it's been. And yes, it has been that way for the previous three groups. But that doesn't mean we have to have it. This could be a good way to differentiate the group. Now let's discuss the five girls. The main girl who appears to be the leader is Kanon Shibuya, as you saw in the center of that image. And yes, she does have orange hair. Yes, once again, we are seeing some similarities with previous leaders, but we can discuss about that at a later time. She lives in a coffee shop, considers herself a normal but timid girl. She's unspecial, but she wishes to cheer others through her singing. She also loves to listening to music, which I share that with her as well. Her grandmother is also Spanish, so I guess that diversifies the girls of love life here now that we have a Spanish girl, but of course only partially. Next up we have Kuka Tang. She is Chinese, and while it looks like Ke Ke, it's actually Ku Ku because her name is actually Chinese. She lives alone and she came to Japan due to her love of school idols. She is very lively and sociable and she is practicing her Japanese as, as far as I can tell she's saying she might struggle a little bit with that and yes she does have a striking resemblance to Yo Watanabe because I have seen that in the comments below but of course she is also very different from her in personality as well as her background after her we have Chisato Arashi she is a childhood friend of Kanon so not Koko which yes we kind of had that gray hair best friend of the orange hair leader kind of trope going on for now so for once that's not the case here she has a part-time job at a takoyaki shop which if you don't know takoyaki is kind of like a octopus ball i'm pretty sure and she loves dancing and she wants to win at a dance competition she wishes to establish a dance club at her school after that we have sumina hiena i think that's how you say it lives at a shrine kind of like hanamaru but she also does live streams so i guess She's not like Hanamaru at all in that sense, since she probably seems to be a little bit more well versed than Hanamaru when it comes to technology in general. She's experienced with show business and entertainment. Lastly, we have Ren Hazuki. She kind of runs the school since her mother left her in charge of the school.
school. Uh, it doesn't really sound very practical for a first year to be running a school, but okay. Anime logic, I guess. She wishes to make the school the best place she can make it. She's studious and talented in things like calligraphy and piano. She's strong-willed and perhaps a bit stubborn, so you might see a little bit of Daya in her. And I guess they both have black hair, so I guess even more so. But I guess she also is talented in a lot of other things. And I guess she plays the piano, so maybe a little bit of Maki or something like that in her as well. Now that we know the girls, what else do we know? Well, not a whole lot at this moment. We do know the anime is coming, but no idea when. We don't know any of the seiyus or voice actresses yet because they have not revealed that. They revealed some of the staff members that will be leading the project, but that's not a whole lot to go on, I guess. Right now, there are two polls to help us decide the school emblem for the school, which is the Uigaoka High School, and the name for the group of these girls. So the name for the polls is separated into two parts. Right now, we're in the first part where we get to submit our ideas for names as well as an explanation for that and then the staff will then pick their favorites and then we can vote in the second part of the poll where we get you know, top 10 or 15 choices decided by the staff and then we pick our favorite and the winner of that poll will be the final name. This is very similar to the previous names for like Muse and Aquas. it's the exact same kind of process. Beyond that, that's basically what we know. We got some images here and there but really not too much beyond that. We do know these girls should be separate from Nijigaku because they're getting their own separate anime, so they have really no correlation with each other at all. The trademark that was filed for Love Life Superstar did note that games and merchandise and other stuff would come for these girls, so you know it only makes sense as they're starting up kind of a new kind of a project here. And with all these girls, of course, they want to support them with things like that. So of course, we would expect to see them in merchandise and whatnot. What games would they come to? Well. I guess All Stars is the big game that is going on. I think it'll be a little bit easier to add them to a Squirrel Festival. But I would like to see them being supported even more with All Stars. Although All Stars focus is, was on Nijigaku. So we'll have to see how that works or if they're going to start up a whole new game. But we should expect to see something like that. At least a minimum a lot of merchandising for the, these girls. Nijigaku is going to be more different than the first two iterations of Love Live. As we know, Nijigaku is more focused on ha having each girl have a lot of solo songs. That's why a lot of people try to con consider Love Life Superstar the third iteration and kind of saying Nijigaku is so different in that sense that it's not really a full true iteration of it, even though technically this is kind of the fourth iteration, quote unquote. The fourth iteration, or I guess Love Life Superstar, is going to be a little bit closer to the first two, which, you know, School Out Project and Sunshine. It's going to try to follow a little bit more closely to that kind of style, but there is definitely going to be some more differences than you can see here. Definitely currently with different size, they're all being first years, so there's going to be a big change, which we have not dealt with yet. So now let's ask the question, is it too early? Nijigaku just is just getting going, as some people say, but is that earlier than the normal trends? Yes, the Nijigaku anime has not come out, nor do we even know when that is coming out yet. But I feel that's the case because they didn't plan for the anime for from the start. But again, the question is, is it too early for a fourth group? So let's start with the first time a new group was revealed, Aquas. They were the first group to be revealed after Muse, and that happened in April 2015, two months before the release of the Love Lies Skuala movie. Muse would end in 2016, so as Muse was winding down and finishing up with just a few song releases here and there, they got started. The first episode of Sunshine would come out on July 2nd of 2016, or about 14 months later after the uh, first announcement of the group. The next announcement was for Nijigaku, or at that time they call it PDP or Perfect Dream Project. The announcement for Nijigaku was on March 30th of 2017, so many people act like this group was just announced last year, but that's really far from the truth. I guess a lot of people just aren't aware of this group, or just assume, oh yeah, that just became a thing very recently. It's been over three years since this announcement. Their first album, in fact, came out on November 21st of 2018. At the time announcement of the Nijikasaki High School Idol Club, Happy Part Train was still not released yet. That's how far back we have to go. That means season 2 was still not out for Akawaz, so this came out a long time ago. Nijigaku is not new. 
It's just that it took a long time before they decided to make an anime for this group. Love Life Sunshine only took a bit over a year and announcement and the release of the anime, so it's clear that the animes and PVs were already in development when the announcement happened. They planned for this. It's just for Nijigaku, they didn't plan for an anime because I figured they were speculating saying, are people serious with these girls? Are they going to be supporting these girls in the future? I feel like they were testing the waters with something a little bit different here. They weren't sure, so they were trying something different and seeing if people still enjoyed Love Life. Should they continue to keep making more and more songs? Or is Love Life over after the second iteration? And once they realize that people are interested and they keep wanting to have more and more songs and have more and more girls in this franchise, then they decided, okay, we should probably make an anime to support these girls. So the question is, is it too early for Love Life Superstar? Well, the gap between Sunshine and Ichigaku was a bit under two years, while the announcement between Ichigaku and Superstar was a bit over three years. So I would argue no. Though having two different anime announcements so close to each other is definitely a bit odd and questionable, but I can understand why once you think about it. Nijigaku's anime shouldn't hopefully come out much sooner, but it's unclear when. I would imagine maybe spring 2021, maybe summer, considering when the announcement happened was... if you want to be ambitious, but you know, you know it might be delayed because of, you know, 2020. Superstar is still really, really early in development, so I imagine anime would come out if we're thinking and amb being ambitious 2021, late 2021, perhaps 2022. We don't even know the series for Love Life Superstars yet, so I can't imagine it would come out anytime soon for that, unfortunately, especially with the situations we're currently in. They were still casting people, and often TVs happen before the anime to get some hype going for this group, and well, we have nothing from these new girls so maybe like at least one or two pvs before the release of the anime and we know it takes a little while before it gets going so uh late 2021 at best case scenario i would say for superstar as for the first songs we might get a preview of the new girls and see some of their songs maybe mid 2021 or potentially late 2021 depends how fast it can get going if we're being ambitious, I would say mid-2021, or if they are gods and get things rolling quick and pumping things out, it's mid-early 2021, but this is all speculation, and it's really, really hard to guess, as, you know, 2020 has been a very fun year so far. So that's about all we know for now. I'll definitely keep you guys updated as more news comes out for these girls, and for Love Live in general. So what do you guys think of this project so far? Liking the girls so far? Who interests you the most? When do you guys think more stuff will come out for this project? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to catch you guys in another video soon.